to make it six out of six. So here we go, the final instructions from our referee and uh, for all of you uh, folks watching live and exclusively on Nuts TV, Steve Holdsworth and Bob Me with you from Chekhov in Russia. And this is tonight's main event. Bob, early thoughts. I'm just wondering what's running through Pavetkin's mind. Will he go out to try and put on an explosive performance for his home fans here? And he, he has plenty of fans in Moscow. He's been based here as, as well as, um, obviously, he comes from Kursk. Uh, or will he just decide to take his time to take no, no risks early on against Taurus Sykes? Uh, will he you know, have one eye on the Klitschko fight? Whatever else anyone says, will he just take his time and, and be try to make it as risk-free as possible. Well, as they did say, they're not uh, even thinking about the uh, Klitschko fight. They want to take this one as it comes. Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? And they're right to do that. But he, he can't help it, surely. He knows that that fight, the fight that will make or break his career, is just around the corner. This one, it should be. It's designed as a stepping stone. It's designed as, as a, a fight for him to just persuade the last few remaining fans to, to come out and support him then against Klitschko. Well, the simple fact is, this is not a fight maker, Bob, but it could certainly be a fight breaker, couldn't it? Well, it could be a, a complete disaster if he blew it, yes. Sykes, one year out of the ring, how will that affect him? You know, he did go ten rounds with Hasim Rachman in his last fight. Uh, rushed in then, that was a bit dangerous with the head, but I don't think any, anything happened too much. And now I personally think that uh, Povetkin is a very smart individual. He's, he's got a good attacking strategy, he's got good defensive work as well. He's not a heavy puncher, but my goodness me, he just keeps on going. Yeah, he got the job done against Eddie Chambers when, it, it, by later admissions, that he was, he was recovering from some kind of illness and he just felt he had to carry on with the fight. That can be dangerous, can be, uh, uh, you know, everything can come apart, but he got the job done. Knew he wasn't at his best, just went out and concentrated on getting through the 12 rounds, winning, winning on points. Well, we've already seen Sykes' strategy here, OK, to uh, land punches from long range, but as soon as uh, Povetkin gets close, He's going to hang on to him, and the crowd don't like it. No, at his best, he was a hard-working, durable type trying to fight on the inside, but that all came apart when he was knocked out in two by Samuel Peter, and uh, after that was stopped by a journeyman, Derek Bryant, who I saw years before that getting stopped by uh, Danny Williams in New York. Uh, that was a stunner for Bryant to beat Sykes. So he's, he's had his bad times. Well, the simple fact is here, Povet Povetkin doesn't want to get close to this man because he'll get grabbed. He needs to win this one long range and try and land the punches that matter without getting uh, clutched by Sykes. Well, he beat Sykes to the right hand then. Sykes tried one of his own, but it was a long looping shot. Povetkin quick to get inside with his own right. Right on the break there as well, and Sykes didn't appreciate that, didn't like it, felt it. Well, interesting start here from the pair of them. We are going to go for a very short break. Stay with us. So round two coming up then of this uh, scheduled at 10. And, well, it looks like Toro Sykes has got a bit of work to do now. He's lost the first session here because Povetkin was just more effective. And don't forget, Sykes did hang on. He did more hanging on than he did punching. Round two it is. Bob, tactics. Well, Sykes somehow needs to, to find a way of rumbling forward to free himself a little bit, find a bit of rhythm, um, get inside and start working and see if Povetkin can be outworked. But he's not that kind of fighter, is he? Well, if he can get into a rhythm, then he can work hard, but whether he's got the belief, only he knows. Povetkin's certainly got the belief. He's he looks really controlled and decisive here so far. It's not all kind of flowing for him, but you can see the intent. And the referee there has just warned Sykes for hanging on. And uh, yes, I can understand what you say, but it's difficult for Povetkin to get any kind of rhythm here when he keeps getting tied up like this. Yeah, sure, he needs to... to um... And don't forget, you know, if Sykes gets chucked out here, the uh, local commission have every right to withhold his purse, barring expenses and uh, they could actually detain them uh, permanently. Yeah, it's a bit early for that to become a, 
the possibility. He is spoiling on the inside. He's feeling the strength of Povetkin. Yes, I think Alexander Povetkin is. Uh, well, he, he is deceptively strong. And Sykes looks as if he just can't get into this at the moment. He's just, he's already thinking negatively, backing off to the ropes, moving around. He's terrified, but he's not settled down at all, rubbing his head in. Povetkin just as, seems to have intimidated him, you're, you're right. Yep, Sykes is absolutely uh, terribly intimidated here. Um, but that's the kind of guy he is. He's now 33 years of age. He's five years older than uh, his opponent, Bob Yetkin. And uh, I don't think he's adjusted particularly well uh, to professional boxing. I've never really been a great big fan of his, to be honest with you. But he has won 25 fights in 30 outings and one draw. Bob Yetkin, of course, has won less than half of that, but 13 straight. Sykes to a, a long looping right hand again. Uh, he, he's again, he's showing out, he's looking at the referee after he took a right hand. He, I don't know what he was complaining about or concerned about other than the power of the shot. What the referee could do, I don't know. His hands are too low. Well, he's got a tangle there. Uh, he, it wasn't a knockdown, he tripped over the ropes. He, 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 maybe his foot went off the back of the apron, it's not a big apron. Well, he might now complain of a damaged ankle. The crowd think it was a knockdown, it wasn't. Yeah, from the cheap seats, it looked like it. That, the left hand high on his head, and he was sinking down then. Well, that's another round for Bob Yekin, but a very untidy one there, in my opinion. All down to Torres Sykes. Yeah, he needs to sort himself out in that corner. He could be in very deep trouble very quickly, because mentally, he seems to have switched off. He's been talking about you know, constantly believing in himself and he knows where he's going, that he's still got the dream, still got the belief. Well, it looks like it's evaporated in round two. Maybe he'll find some encouragement, I don't know, from somewhere. Well, Chris Saligar there applying the grease to the face of Bob Yetkin. We'll watch a bit of replay here from the second session, looping right there that Bob Me was on about. And then the glance at the referee is it to say, are you going to let him do that to me? And his gloves are too low, he's trying to get away, but going back in a straight line, no punch landed there, the right hand was short, and he just tripped up.